Emergency broadcast number six? Seven? Fuck knows. Fuck knows. Emergency broadcast number who knows. Let's not dick around. Larry Izzo, sideline shitter. H to the Izzo. H to the Izzo. He did a shit on the sideline. Well, let's before we get to the shooting on the sideline, let's remember that Larry Izzo is the greatest special teams player of all time. Bold. It's a bold call. Dante Hall. Well, I'm going to go... Devin Hester. All right, carry and on. Larry Izzo shitting himself on the sidelines. Okay, uh, well, in 14 NFL seasons, uh, Larry Izzo... Ace to the Izzo! Um, recorded more special teams tackled than any other player in the NFL, uh, 298. He also never played on a team with a losing record. So, unfortunately for Devin Hester, he beats him out there. Yeah, unfortunately Devin Hester played on the dreadful Bears. Although he went to the Super Bowl, actually. Well, Larry Izzo had five AFC Championship appearances, four Super Bowl appearances, and three rings, as well as winning one as the assistant special teams coach for the New York Giants against the Patriots in a twist worthy of M. Night Shyamalan. I see dead people. Well, that's not why we know him. We know him <laughs> because he shits on the sideline. But we'll get to the shit on but the sideline. But we side will line. get to the shit on the sideline. That is the light at the end of a very long, dark tunnel. It's it's not the reason we did this emergency broadcast entirely. But we'd be lying if we said it didn't sway us to do it. <laughs> so we've done a bit of background research it's just to provide a bit more work other than Larry Izzo took a shit on the sideline. Um, he went to Rice University where he led the school in tackles. 1995 I think set a school career for 18 tackles for a loss in a season. But then obviously because he went to Rice he didn't get drafted. Where is Rice? <laughs> Right in. Answers on a postcard. Where is Rice University? Larry Izzo, um, undrafted in the same year that the Dolphins uh, drafted Zachy T, Zach Thomas. Um, and famously, in his rookie season, Hugh, what happened? Well, uh, my only fact is that he put himself on the sideline. And that didn't happen until after the Act 2 um, break. Okay, so Jimmy Johnson is the coach of the Miami Dolphins. All right? You remember yeah, now? I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. You're, okay, yeah. he's, he's remembered. So, legend has it, Jimmy Johnson, uh, in preseason, addressed the Miami Dolphins squad and said, none of you have made this team, with the exception of one person. Who was that one person, Hugh? Dan Marino. Dan the man Marino. Bernie Kosar was backing him up, but it was still the Dan show in Miami. Larry Izzo was new on the team. What a wonderful day it would have been to be grouped amongst Dan Marino as the only person to make the team. Maybe later on when they started watching a bit of tape, Larry Izzo's there blowing up everyone on the field, making hits on special teams, knocking everyone back on defense. Jimmy Johnson stops the tape and goes, who the fuck is that? That's Larry Izzo. He says, Larry, where are you from? He says, Houston. He says, we'll call your family in Houston tonight and tell him you also made the team. Dan Marino and Larry Izzo. Dan Marino, who has the Dolphins on his shoulders at this point. On this team, you've got Mark Clayton, I believe, at wide receiver. You've got Zach Thomas, who, albeit in his rookie year, you at least drafted him. You don't look at the undrafted rookie and go, you and Marino, get on the bus. Everyone else, fight amongst yourselves. Larry Izzo was named to John Clayton's 2006, the best team money can buy. In hindsight, yeah. he was the best player money can buy. He went to one pro bowl with the Dolphins and then signed with their rivals in 2001, the New England Patriots. At which point, <laughs> finally, <laughs> I get to talk about Larry Izzo having a shit on the sideline. Annoyingly, there's no, apart from Bill Belichick saying it like once, and it's like an urban legend that Larry Izzo dropped trow and had a big old shit on the sidelines. He got the game ball, that's all we know. Bill Belichick's never brought it up, Larry Izzo's never talked about it, none of the Patriots have ever talked about Whoa. it. Whoa! So Wes Welker <laughs> right. did, on Dan LeBatard's show, talk about it, and he says, regardless of all of the accolades that Larry Izzo has, regardless of the three Super Bowl rings, regardless of the fact he was named special teams captain for the Patriots, every single year he was there, the thing he loves more than everything in the world is the Belichick game ball for shitting on the sidelines in front of 80,000. I can't piss at a urinal if there's someone standing next to me. But where, where? Did he do it in the, like, concussion tent? No, apparently there was no concussion tent at this point. Concussions Under didn't exist. Under the kicker's exist. net? Concussions didn't exist. This is early 2000s. Trainers held up towels on three sides of him. What about the other side? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, the crowd just see Larry Izzo's bare ass and him crouching and having shit. 
I don't know where who had to clear it up, whether they left it there. There are there are four sides to Larry Izzo, so at least one side is gonna if there's three trainers with three towels, someone in the stadium is watching Larry Izzo have a shit. <laughs> I like to think it's the crowd behind him getting the full royal treatment view yeah. of Larry Izzo having a poop. Like they're like they're waiting for a field goal. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. the black hole. This was not a Paula Radcliffe moment, okay? Because it was a poo, not a wee. She pooed. Did she? No, she's had a wee. I think she pooed. Did she? Someone pooed. Cut to the footage. But this wasn't because he needed to go, really, more than the fact he was apparently a disgusting person. Brandon Merriweather, his former teammate, says that apparently he used to take his breakfast into the toilet while he was having a shit and eat it on the toilet. Larry Izzo? Yeah. Why? I don't know, it's a bit of a time saver. If you go if you go front facing and straddle the toilet. Yeah, but you can put that you can put a full fry up on the system. If you didn't wear any trousers, you could get around. That is just the most absurd thing <laughs> I've ever heard. Someone <laughs> eating a meal on the toilet. Just start. Have you seen the um in the interest of padding this out as much as we can, have you seen the clip of Frank Gore giving birth to himself? No. So in my head, it's like and was... a horse giving birth to a fawn. Like it flops out of Frank Gore. A mini Frank Gore flops out of Frank Gore in like an embryotic sack. Saquon Barkley farting. Do you remember that one? Where no. He, he had his towel, you know, the little hand towel draped over his back and he's standing in the backfield. Then all and of a sudden whoop. the towel. <laughs> 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 Play that tape. Here's a 3 nothing lead in the first. That's brilliant. You got Larry Izzo having a shit on the sidelines. You have Frank Gore giving birth to himself. You have Saquon Barkley flying the flag. I'm sure if you've got any stories about players pissing or shitting, write them below. That's all we've got for Lazar Larry Izzo, isn't it? He also made the 1999 All Tough Guy team. I think you get to be on that team if you take a shit in front of 80,000 people. Larry Izzo, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Another fantastic emergency broadcast that lasted all of, what, three minutes? We're putting in much less effort. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You try drumming up some interesting topics about a man who shits himself on the sideline. When you can't find anything on the internet about there's it. No, there's no footage. There's no facts. All he did was do it and got the game ball. There are no stories. All you know is that Larry Izzo went to the Pro Bowl, went all pro, and then did a poo. And that is it. So, Lizzo, play us out. No, we can't afford it. No, we can't. Out. We can't. We can't. Lizzo's copyright. Play, play Jay-Z, then. He's Izzo. It's what he does. <laughs> I'm telling you, the guy is phenomenal. The only time I ever see Larry is when he's coming out of the bathroom to get a clothes hanger. He has issues. Who would you describe as the craziest teammate you've ever had? It's Larry Izzo, bar none. As always, reminding you to stay indoors, love your mother, and... Wash your hands. Wash your hands and stay two meters apart. That is two meters. It's perspective that's making it look less. A to the ISO! B to the